we're going to look at how to start a song. This is going to be really simple. I'm going to use two chords, an F chord or C chord and an F chord. I'm just going to get a really simple rhythm like this. You can see there's a bit of a gap. I'm going to try to improvise in the gap. Do, do. I'm going a bit higher now. So, most mu musicians start with a chord pattern. This one's just got two to make things really simple and then improvising singing over the top. Now if you find that a little hard to do singing, I might transfer to a piano and see if I can do that same melody on the piano. There's my little chords. F chord. Now I'm going to do the melody. the melodies I've worked out. Now I'm also going to make a little bit more of a pattern in my to get a bit more of a feel going. Instead of just doing the straight chord, I'm going to add one extra note to the chord like this. And I'm going to start doing some some words to it this time. So that's coming along. I'm going to now adjust my piano part instead of having the, the little pattern there, I'm going to do an inversion. So that's a C chord. I'm going to take each chord into a different position. That's first inversion, second inversion. It's still the same notes. And now I can do the little pattern up here. And I can do the F pattern in here. One last thing I'm going to do just to make it a little more interesting, instead of, I'm going to split the chord up now. I'm liking this feel more. Well. I found my tune. I found my tune. I was looking for a melody. Now I found my tune. Let's look more carefully at the notes I've chosen for my melody. The notes from the chord. They're the notes of the chords, C, E, and G, and I'm starting on a C. I found my tune, C to E. I found my tune. That's a note in the F chord. Now this bit, for variation, I was looking for a melody. Two notes of the chord. The D's not, but it's a quick note. I don't stay on it so it doesn't clash. And I found my tune. So it works well. And if I want to go higher, I keep the same shape. I found my tune. Still a note of the chord. I found my tune. F still note of the chord. I was And I found my tune. C 
So there's some repetition in this melody. We start off with, repeat that rhythm, but going down. Some variation. This last phrase is like the second phrase. So we, our ear has something to latch on to that, that rhythm. It gets used three times in that melody. Okay, I'm going to need some new chords. I've been using F and C for quite some time. In our piece, the four most important chords are chords 1, 4 and 5. So chord 1, C, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's the F chord, and chord 5, G. Now I haven't even used a G in this piece, so I think that's probably going to be one of the keys chords I'm going to use. Some other good chords to use in a, in a piece in this key, C major, um, are the A minor, which is chord 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and D minor, which is chord 2. Being minor, they give it a different kind of feel, or they, these are called colour chords, and they can really uh, make a nice change. So I'm going to pick two, I'm going to use the D minor and the G. I'm going to keep the same chord pattern kind of going. Bit of a gap. notes in the chord so yeah so D it's gonna be good it's gonna be fine so they're notes in the chord they're working nicely for a bit of a change oh it's gonna be good cause it's gonna be mine so that's a good little change now let's look at some bass line here we want on the keyboard, we're going to go right down low to C here. And F, just the root note of the chord. But let's make it have some passing notes. We can go C, move up to F via the E. E, sometimes a G, C. So let's see how that sounds. Think about a rhythm. You can even use an instrument like a ukulele to get some good rhythm. So like a, a bass and a snare so you can get So here's how we've got so far of my little melody, I found my tune. A nice little chordal pattern. I found my tune. I found my 